Hi, I'm Pato, and before I get into the music stuff, I wanted to talk about some of the books I picked up recently, so I'm gonna do that really quick. First, we have How to Be Both by Ali Smith. This one I saw and remembered that Biblio Sophie had recommended it, so I had to get it. And then The Accidental I also picked up because Ali Smith and $4 make a pretty good combination. Next, I got The Stranger by Albert Camus pretty skinny book and it's been a while since I've read something short so excited for this one then kind of similar I got invitation to a beheading by Vladimir Nabokov which I had never heard of I was trying to find Panin but couldn't they also had Lolita there which I debated on getting but as someone who reads mostly in public I did not want to be seen reading that book I'm sure it's good but that's just not the energy I'm trying to put into the world right now I got Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. This is a book I know I want to get to eventually, but I'm not in a rush right now, so in the meantime, I'm going to give it to my mom because I think that she'd like this. And lastly, I got A Swim in a Pond in the Rain by George Saunders. I've been meaning to get to more books about writing in general, so I'm really stoked that I've managed to find this secondhand. This book dissects writing and short stories. I'm excited to read it. So those are the books I got now for music okay so music wise i have some vinyls across the floor and then i also have some cds above the window but i keep those in my car so i'll show those off later starting off with layers by les mccann this is a jazz fusion record from the 70s which is really funky really loungy synthy also just distinct from what he makes in general He's more of a traditional jazz pianist, but I'll play a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like. Really cool album. Up next is Only Diamonds Cut Diamonds by Vegan famous Frank Ocean collaborator. He produced on Blonde and Endless, so if you like Frank Ocean, definitely check him out. His solo stuff is definitely more electronic. It leans towards like IDM or ambient stuff, although there's a lot of different sounds on this. I'll play a clip. <laughs> cool album though like I love this one this next one is kind of weird it's a compilation album of a bunch of one bar loops of a ton of artists there's a lot of cool sounds on here and a lot of cool names it's fun to mess around with this was for like a non-profit event that the please make it ruins label was doing I think this is a really cool album though Next is Feet of Clay by Earl Sweatshirt. This is a off-kilter and interesting album production-wise. The rapping in this is very poetic, very lyrical, and overall just feels very nocturnal and dark. I'll play a clip. My canteen was full of the poison I need. The trip is long and steep. My innocence was lost in the east. I missed the thick exhaust. Hockey hit the horn and beat. Mention my sin is strong. We all that we need. Next is Get Out the Ghetto by Standing on the Corner, a really cool avant-garde, sample-heavy, genre-bending collective which makes sick music. This is only a four-song EP, but there's still some really cool stuff on here. I will share a clip. Next is Jahari Masamba Unit, Pardon My French, by Kareem Riggins and Matt Bibb. Both of them prolific hip-hop producers in their own right, collaborating in a really cool way where Riggins plays live drums and Matt Lib does the backing instrumental. Really cool stuff. Them together is just insane. This is what it sounds like.
Speaking of Mad Lib, Shades of Blue is one of my favorite albums ever. It's Mad Lib remixing Blue Note recordings, which are just jazz standards, and I will not even try to describe it. This is what it sounds like. So good. Listen to this album. Dragon New or Mountain, I Believe in You by Big Thief is the album of the year, and I've been saying that since February. Have not been proven wrong. At this point, just give up. Stop making music. This one. This album is backwater, bluegrass, folky, acoustic, shoegazy at some points, whimsical at others, constantly intimate, so well written, endlessly positive traits about this. It's 20 songs long, there's not a single skip. If Adrian Lenker kills me, do not prosecute. That's on me. She caught me slipping. God is a woman and she wrote this album. Yeah. Conan Moccasin's Forever Dolphin Love is psychedelic, surf rocky, hypnotic, and groovy. Cool album. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> last final I have is Temperamental by Everything But The Girl, one of my favorite bands. This is towards the end of their career where they were in their French house disco era and really fun, love it, very bassy, very danceable, groovy, just club mixes, good stuff. That's the vinyls. I have more that I want to get eventually, but at the moment I'm spending my money on books, so not gonna happen anytime soon. I still have some CDs though to show off, so I'm gonna teleport into my car. Not gonna talk about these as much. Also, I got a lot of these when I was in high school, so don't judge me. Starting off, we have Circles by Mac Miller and Endless by Frank Ocean. Operation Doomsday by MF Doom, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me by The Cure, Demon Days by The Gorillas, and Igor by Tyler The Creator. Outer Peace, Toro y Moi, Some Rap Songs, Earl Sweatshirt, Gorillas Self Title, The Love Below by Outcast, Good Kid Mad City, and Tipping the Butterfly by Kendrick, and then two Depeche Mode best ofs that I stole from my parents. Side note about this 60s album, it's really distorted and blown out in certain songs, and it always reminds me of that one Brian Eno quote where he talks about the limitations of mediums. I'll put it on screen, but it's a really cute sentiment, and I think about that quote all the time, especially when I listen to older stuff. Anyways, the other albums are Roadrunner and Saturation 2 by Brockhampton, and then Kid Sea Ghost self-titled. Next is Culture by Migos, Love is Rage 2 by Lil Uzi Vert, Playboy Cardi self-titled and Rodeo by Travis Scott, Because the Internet by Childish Gambino, Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, and Saturation 1 and 3 by Brockhampton, Cherry Bomb and Flower Boy by Tyler, Speaker Box by Outkast, and the Draft album of Saturation. And finally we have A Rush of Blood to the Head by Coldplay, Mothership by Led Zeppelin, Damn by Kendrick, and Death Magnetic by Metallica. Some of the CDs are definitely outdated and not really representative of what I listen to now, but they were formative at some point, so whatever. I forgot the one I have in right now, which is Dark Lands by The Jesus and Mary Chain. So I'm gonna show off some Spotify stuff in the back. I'm not gonna like talk about any of it because information overload, but if you wanna check it out, I've made a playlist once a month for the last six years, so a lot of stuff out there. I'm pretty proud of all of them. I think that they're all really good and like transition into each other and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, bigger things at hand. We hit 1K, which is insane, absurd. Thank you guys so much. And I feel legally obligated to do a 1K Q&A. So if you wanna ask questions, feel free either on here or DM me on Instagram, however you wanna do it. Uh, I'll answer whatever, as long as it's not like super nosy. But yeah, ask away. 
and I will do that. Thanks again. You guys all have really good taste either in books or music. If you recommended either, I've written it down to my TBR or I've already listened to the album. Also, if we talked about music in the comments, feel free to ask to make playlists for each other because I am 100% down to trade. Like to make them in general, putting that out there. It's really cool to have an outlet to talk about the things that I like and for that to be supported feels really great. So thanks again. I know I keep saying it, but just one more time. Thanks and goodbye.